Hello everyone, in this video I will go over my solution for the problem named range is equal to square root sum taken from Sarang Zhao. This problem is an excellent constructive problem which uses only basic math in order to build the correct sequence. So in this problem we are basically given the length of the sequence which we need to find which satisfies this condition. Note that this is similar to problem B in which we wanted to find a sequence of integers satisfying some condition. And in that problem, we use some Zor properties to find a valid sequence. But in this problem, we only need very basic math operations. And the condition which we need to satisfy is that the maximum of all the elements in the sequence minus the minimum of all the elements in the sequence is equal to the square root of the sum of all the elements in the sequence. So we want to print n distinct integers which satisfy this condition. Now let's consider various examples let's say that n is 2 so when n is 2 we want to find two integers which let's say x and y such that uh, let's say x is greater than y without loss of generality so we want to ensure that x minus y is equal to square root of x plus y and you can basically search for any two such integers and one possible possibility is 3 comma 1 because uh, 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, and 3 minus 1 is also 2. And uh, this works for n is 2. For n is 4, this is a valid sequence because 25, I mean 21 is the smallest, 31 is the largest. So 31 minus 21 is 10, the range is 10. And the sum of all the elements is 100. You can add them up and see that it's 100. So it's clear that 100 is equal to, uh, so, um, 100 is equal to the square root of 100 is equal to 10 sorry because the range of elements should be equal to the square root of the sum the sum of elements is 100 so the square root of the sum is 10 and the range which is 31 minus 21 is equal to 10 and um, in this example even the sequence works the range is 11 and the sum of all the elements is 121 so in general we realize that we need to ensure that the range of all the elements is equal to the square root of the sum or the range square is equal to the sum where where range is defined as the max minus the min and sum is defined as the sum uh, of all the elements in the sequence so this is how you can mathematically uh, define the equation and uh, it's clear that we want to ensure that uh, the, the, the equality is satisfied and we want to make the construction simple because we can print any such sequence of distinct integers. This is a very important condition that the integers should be distinct because if you can re repeat elements, you may get a very simple construction. There is a trivial construction which works for when the elements are not distinct but to make it harder they have told us we can use only distinct integers we can't repeat any integers and in that case we want to uh, think along the lines of how uh, how how we can construct such a sequence in the simplest manner possible and uh, the key idea for that it comes slightly out of the blue because it's a constructive problem and you can't really like figure out anything from from this equation like from this equation dn square is equal to sum you really can't deduce anything about the sequence so you'll need to start somewhere uh, on paper you need to try examples and one example which strikes out is that uh, it, it, it stems from from this case so we know that 1 plus 3 is 4 which is which is equal to the range square and we know that 1 and 3 are odd numbers so if you try to extend this, if you notice this in the in the sample, and if you try to extend it, you will realize that the sum of the odd numbers is is always a perfect square. But the square root is not necessarily the range square. So the square root is not equal to four. So it's not equal to four square. And this is the only case where a problem arises, um, because if you consider various odd numbers, so if you consider 1, 3, 5, 7, you'll again get a perfect square. 
you will get the next perfect square. So initially you got 4 which is 2 square, then you get 9 which is 3 square, then you get 16 which is 4 square and so on. But this will always be equal to 1 more than, than what you want. I mean 1 less than what you want. You want 5 square but you are getting 4 square. And in the previous examples you wanted 4 square but you are getting 3 square. And you basically need to be able to like modify the sequence so that it satisfies the condition that the range of element squared is equal to the is equal to the sum of all the elements so so this is actually six square sorry for that mistake so uh, we want to ensure that four square becomes six square we want to increase the sum of the elements while making the range same so let let me formalize these two observations into uh, an algorithm. We basically want to ensure that the range of the elements remains the same and we want to increase these odd numbers so that uh, it, they become the next square. So the first observation basically said that the sum of the first n odd numbers is n square 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 all the way up till 2n minus 1. These are the first n odd numbers is equal to n square. You can verify this for any value of n. So for example, when n is 3, we know that 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 3 square. Now we know that the range, the range of these elements is equal to 2n minus 2 because the largest is 2n minus 1 and the smallest is 2n minus 2. So 2n minus 2 whole square is 4n square minus 8n plus 4. And this is not equal to n square. So this is where the problem arises if you write it mathematically. So we know that the range is 2n minus 1 minus 1 whole square because 2n minus 1 is the largest element and 1 is the smallest element. And we want to change the sum of the elements from initially being n square to becoming 4n square minus 8n plus 4. And we can do that by increasing the current sum by 3n square minus 8n plus 4. Because if we increase all the elements such that this quantity increases by by 3n square minus 8n plus 4, then we will get this equal to n square. So we will get that the new sum of all elements. So this is the new sum of all elements is equal to n square. And we need to ensure that we're increasing each and every element by the same number so that the range remains the same. So new sum keeping the range the same is equal to range square. So that's why we know that um, if you want to increase the total sum by 3n square minus 8n plus 4, we will need to increase every number by some some value. So let's divide. So let's divide. Let, let's say that we want to increase each number by 3n square minus 8n plus 4 divided by n because if we do this for n numbers we will get the desired sum which we want and that's why if we want to increase each number by by this quantity if we increase each number by this quantity we know that the new sum will be equal to n square and we just print this new array which, 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 which is the incremented version of the odd numbers and um, it's, it's clear from, from this uh, expression that this, this need not be an integer. So, so we have a problem. Um, we know that 3n square minus 8n is going to be fine. So if you take 3n square minus 8n out, this is fine. This is an integer. But this 4 by n thing is not an integer. So we will need to take out the 4 common. And we will need to increase 4 elements. So, so increase some elements increase some elements so increase four elements by one each ensuring that the range remains the same so we want to ensure that the range remains the same because because we are relying on the fact that the range is 2n minus 2 if the range changes then then this whole right hand side will change and we'll be we'll be in a big problem uh, notice that everywhere from the very beginning, 
from the initial array which had all odd numbers till the final array which is an incremented array we are ensuring that the range always remains 2n minus 2 whole square that is the invariant or that is the quantity which is not changing on the right hand side we are modifying the left hand side we are modifying the sum of all the elements by increasing each element by some quantity and we know that we can increase each element by 3n minus 8 so if we increase each element by 3n minus 8 then 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 we will so increase increase each number by 3n minus 8 so that so that sum increases by 3n square minus 8n because there are n elements and this means that the new sum will be equal to the original sum which is n square plus 3n minus 8 which is equal to 4n square minus 8n and we still need to get the plus 4 so we will choose 4 elements and we will increase them by 1 each so that the range remains the same and how do we do this we just need to choose four middle elements if we chose four middle elements then the smallest number doesn't change and the biggest number doesn't change this means that if you if you uh, choose four middle elements then since the smallest number doesn't change and the largest number doesn't change the range remains the same and because the range remains the same uh, we can uh, ensure that the right hand side remains the same and that's why the new sum is equal to 2n minus 2 whole square which is equal to the range square so if if you uh, didn't follow all the math so far don't worry i'll be explaining it with a small example and then i'll show you the code so if you take a small example of n is equal to 5 5 or n is equal to 6 uh, let's take some example like that what i'm saying is start out with the first six odd numbers start out with the first six odd numbers then increase each odd number increase each number in the sequence by this quantity 3n minus 8 so we know that 3n minus 8 is equal to 10 uh, and increase each number by 10 so you will get a new array which is 11 13 15 17 and 19 and 21 now in this array we know that the range remains the same it's equal to 10 square which is 100 but the sum of the elements is not quite 100 it's 96 you can verify this by calculator you can see that uh, 11 plus 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19 plus 21 is 96 which is just 4 less you can verify that this math works it's, it's exactly 4 less that's why we want to increase 4 middle elements by 1 each so we will increase 13 by 1 to make it 14 we'll increase 15 by 1 to make it 16 we'll make this 18 and we'll make this 20 and now we know that the range square is 100 is 10 square which is 100 which is the sum of all the elements and that's why when n is 6 we can print the sequence the code will actually print the sequence as the output and now i'll uh, it won't print this it will print the sequence with 14 16 18 and 20 so it will print this note that when n becomes very large for example 100 or something you, you just need to choose four elements so in this case uh so so you, you just need to choose any four elements which are not the extremities so you can choose the middle four elements or the second element to the fifth element or any any combination which which is easy to code uh, and all of them will, ha will will have the same sum of 2n minus 2 whole square which is equal to the range square the important thing is that you're keeping the range constant by keeping the min and max the same keeping the min and max same so keeping the difference between the min and max constants and uh, now I'll show you the code which implements the same idea so in the code I need to handle the cases when n is not greater than 4 because uh, when n is 4 or smaller we know that we can't choose 4 elements uh, for middle elements we'll, we'll be choosing uh, the elements in the extremities so that's why when n is 2 when n is 3 when n is 4 and even when n is 5 you can print you can handle these separately you can uh, try out few examples on paper or i think they have given the solutions over here they have given for 4 5 and 2 so you can easily figure out what is the answer when n is 3 and 
once you hard code these values you can then uh, use the observation that uh, the sum of the first n odd numbers is n square and you want to increase uh, increase each element by 3n minus 8 so that the sum becomes 4n square minus 8n and then choose four middle elements and increase their uh, values by one each so once you do that uh, over here once you increase so initially the i odd number is 2i minus 1 and then you'll increase that number by increase increasing every number by 3n minus 8 will increase the sum by 3n square minus 8n to become 4n square minus 8n and once you have 4n square minus 8n you just choose choose any four convenient non extreme indices to increase their elements by one each by one each so that the total sum becomes 2n minus 2 whole square and once you have the total sum equal to 2n minus 2 whole square you can just print print all the elements from 1 to n and you can move on to the next test case so i hope you like this problem and my solution if you have any doubts in any part of the solution do leave them in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up thank you